So now that you've knitted a whole bunch of rows like I have, you're ready to bind off. When you bind off, you would begin like you normally would for knitting, hold your work in your left hand, and go ahead and make two knit stitches here. So, knit, knit. Now to bind off, you want to be a little bit looser on your tension than you are with the rest of your piece because this bind off in particular uh, makes the end a little bit tighter. So if you keep your stitches a little bit looser, it will keep it from uh, kind of getting smaller on one side than the other. But to go ahead and bind off, you take your left needle, put it through the front of the first loop on your right needle, pull that loop over the second loop, like so. Pull the second loop through, and then all you have left on your right needle is your second loop. You've made your first bind off stitch. You do this down the whole row. So again, you knit two stitches on your right needle, lift the first stitch over the second stitch. Again, don't forget to keep your loops a little looser than you would before. And knit, lift, pull through, knit, lift, pull through. And as you can see, you're starting to bind the piece off so you don't have any loose loops at the end. You do that through this whole entire row. So as you come to the end of your row, again knit lift all the way to the very last stitch, knit lift, so we have a row, we're on our very last stitch and again you do the same thing, knit, lift, when you're on this last stitch, you're finished. So to end your knitting, you pull all the way through, and you take your scissors and you cut your yarn right about here, and then you're free from the skein, and you're ready to weave in.